Hello everyone and welcome to Cooper Studios. Thank you for watching. This is Brick Filming Friday and I'm attempting to keep the regularly scheduled videos regular. So here we go. In this shot that I'm currently animating, this is the tumbler and it's going to drive forward and almost it, the idea is for all of these guys to wiggle uh, with their hands up in the air and I'll add an audio track as if they're screaming that it's about to hit them. But my idea is to have Superman He's going to come down, land down on top of the tumbler, and squish it. And I've just added a few of the figures from the middle to over here because I want it to look like there's a lot more of these off frame, and the frame cuts off at about where these road pieces cut off. So I think it's an 8 second exposure with f-stop at 16, and my ISO settings are set at 100 or 200. That gives me... a uh, a lot more depth of field. A lot of this in the background is in sharp detail and everything. So that's what I try to do. That's why the exposure is so long. Now that first picture, we're going to move these guys. Because they have their hands up already, you know, they look kind of surprised. And I have about 35 frames uh, captured off screen. And I've already moved into animating Superman come down. So here's the little uh, thing he's attached to. I'm going to erase this green bit, obviously. So I'll move this forward. And he's coming down very fast. He's going to and just crush this thing. Now back here I've got a good idea of where to put Superman. What I'm doing is I'm doing a trick with the minifigure where you take the legs off and you replace them on each side and you, you place them like this and it looks like he's kneeling. So it's going to look like he's crushing it. And what I am going to do is, I love this model, but I am going to crush it a little bit. Just to give the, the appearance. And just start taking off pieces. Before he had to, what has to, oh, he fell over. Alright, so I got to do a couple more things here. I got to bend him a little bit forward so it looks like he's, you know, kneeling, and then move all these guys. Okay, that looks good. And now, I just have to move all the characters. I'm going to move them all back a little bit. A little bit more. I just checked the shots, and they look great. The whole momentum of the car was preserved, or at least slowed down some. Now, for the tire, it just so happened that it kind of looks like it's bounding away or rolling away. So, I'm going to do that and have it roll towards the camera in a funny way. And as it goes towards here, I'll increase the steps with these plates. I'm going to move the pieces of debris forward. And this tire, I'm going to place it right there. I'm going to put it on two plates high because at this point it looks like it's wiggling and rolling this way. And so I've continued with the shot here. This thing is rolling. Okay, so I'd like to give you a preview of the shot. Uh, here it is without the green bar that's going to appear here uh, edited out. So this is all the shots. So see how he comes down and he just smashes it right there. I think that's one of my favorite shots. I think it's quite funny. All the little guys react in a little way. It could have been a little bit uh, better. He could have landed on it here and the momentum of the, of the moving thing could have been a little bit, uh, slid a little bit more around the ground. Stay tuned to Cooper Studios for more videos just like this and more Brick Filming Fridays, Tutorial Tuesdays, Wacky Wednesday videos. And of course, in the future, upcoming animations. Uh, see everybody. Uh, Cooper Studios. <laughs>